What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Aska. So this one is going to be a little bit different, as I'm not going to be placing this clip that you're viewing now, this video, into the editor. The reason being, if you didn't catch the uh, announcement that I recently made, I simply don't really have the time to edit. I am kind of going to school, as it were, for my job. So I'm going to play this. I hope that the audio is coming at, across okay. I am actually in between projects right now, and I have an hour or two to, to play. I'll try to keep an eye on the clock and try to keep it under an hour. We'll see how far we get. A word of caution, though, this might be a little bit boring, as there might be um, some things that I'm doing that just may not be very fun to watch that I would usually just cut out of the episode. We'll see. All right, with that being said, um, let's take a look at what we got going on. Let's pull up the UI really quick. As we can see in the upper right hand corner, it's summer. We have 34 villagers and the invasion is starting in six days. As you can see too, I am also wearing a new outfit. I have a steel helmet and some linen kind of clothing and armor that you see there. It's about the best I can do for my current level of technology, I believe. When we just pan around over here, you can see the wall is coming along nicely. Let's go take a look at it. We have that invasion, of course, that is coming from this direction that way. And here is the wall. It does stretch all the way. I believe in the last episode we started like right here. It does stretch all the way down here around and then all the way to the water down that way and then it goes all the way up let's get up here and you can see right up there where they are still building it i decided i really kind of wanted a gate in the in this area somewhere but i didn't put one in so right here well i think i decided when it kind of flattens out down here a little bit is where I'll put a gate like in this region somewhere so I'm planning on curving it around and then kind of going that way with it somewhere eventually we're slowly building it my workers are doing the majority of the work so we also had a bit of an update and I was actually waiting for this update for quite a while uh, because it's going to help us, I hope, uh, with the invasion. And that is, we can turn on militias. And I believe, like, they will respond to the horn. Let's pull this up really quick. I bet you it's going to be over here in weapons or security or something. Where we can have, like, a horn that... With the, with the bad guys show up, somebody will honk the horn. Maybe we have to honk the horn, blow the horn, and everybody will wake up and run to our aid, I think. I think that's how it's supposed to work. Of course, I'm not sure where it is. Let's see here. I don't want to spend too much time looking for it because we are running against the clock now. Oh, I think that's new. It's all just uh, warehouse stuff. Not seeing it. Flimsy arch. Oh, yeah. Let me talk about the decorations here, too. Um, because that was actually something that happened here recently. Relatively recently. In this playthrough. That kind of shocked me a little bit. Let's see. Wolf, kennel, barracks, archery range. We got the walls. The hedge tower. Pin gate. You would think that would be in here somewhere. Okay, well, we'll figure it out, hopefully, here real soon. Uh, apparently, they 
the smokers, they've made um, some with horns and some without horns. I mean, it's going to require horns. So uh, I upgraded the gatherer's hut, as you can see here as well. And everybody's just kind of chilling by the fire. We have our cook that's cooking. Oh, let's go in here and make sure that nobody is... Ooh, things have changed a little bit. General, I don't see... Defenses. Got my guard tower. That's how many plank walls we got. Yay. Um, what I was looking for was the status of my people. Housing, markets, defenses, decorations, totems, vehicles, and construction site. Suffering. Okay. So, I don't think this person's actually suffering. We'll list it by default. So, yeah, here's all my people. Everybody's mostly happy and fed. So, yay. Uh, let's come down here because I also built this hut. And this hut is the tanning hut, as it were. I believe that's what it's called. Workhouse 3. The upgrade 2. It's where we can make some more clothing, um, leather goods, and, and that sort of thing. So I turned on, I figured out that the woodcutter's hut, um, if you give them the right tools and you take things out, let's see if we can go into their menu here. If you take things out of the log storage, they will place these hardwood logs in it. They'll go cut them down. And so this was full of regular logs and that's why they weren't chopping down and collecting hardwood logs um, because the storage was full. So once I did that and I made hardwood logs a priority, they chopped down my decorative tree that I had right here. Here's the stump for it. They chopped it down. I like that tree. <laughs> so I also did add a bunch of paths here. And we can now run all over the place. This took a little while. To get all these paths in here. We got one that runs down that way. And so, yeah. And other than that, that's about all that's changed. Um... I'm getting kind of thirsty. Let's head up here and get a drink. Try to drink from um, this water fountain up here. Come on, drink. Thank you. We'll fill up that canteen while we're at it. All right, perfect. With the update, they also added a bunch of other things. Uh, some stuff with the cave. They added the ability to make um, torches inside there. So, oh, I did add also another barracks. Since they only hold three uh, people, I wanted more than three. So I built another barracks. And I think I only have one or maybe two people. Let's see, Archer. Oh, I have all three. Okay, cool. And so, and this one over here has three for sure. And then this one up here, I actually don't remember. Three. Perfect. So, yeah. We have a couple blacksmiths that work. We have a person that works in, in here in the wood shop. And we have a person that makes uh, iron ore uh, all day long, every day. Here's my cart. So now you should be completely up to speed uh, as far as what we're doing. And I believe I have just been helping these guys build this wall. And... Uh, I think I pretty much stopped bringing new people in. It's been a few days since I played, like I said. So it's actually been about a week and a half since I've played. So trying to refresh my memory a little bit on what we're doing. I do know that that horn, too, can be placed up here. Come on. Oh, we are going really slow. Come on. There we go. There we go. Go faster. Okay, so... Maybe. He. There it is. Guard town horn. We're going to build that. So we need a smoker horn, rope, and a long stick. So we got plenty of rope, and we need to go get a, a horned smoker. There's the horn where it's going to go. Perfect. Climb down. I was kind of hoping that we would have one in, like on the ground as well, somewhere. 
because this tower is not manned during the day. And you know what? I don't know if I can make it manned during the night or not. Let's go manage workers. Maybe I can. His hours are at night. So, ooh, can we add a archer to it during the day? This person is an archer. We're going to assign. Well, let's check their hours first. Yeah, we're going to load this one. But I'm going to make them work a little bit longer. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hour a day. Get a couple hours in the evening. So let's see here. I'm gonna reset that. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Load. Let's just use that one. And that'll be fine. So we're going to get off at 6, um, well, 7. They get off at 7, and they start at 7. So that's fine. Let us, oops, yes. We're going to assign this person to this spot. Oh, he was in the archery range. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get somebody else in the archery range. Okay, and then my other person here in the guard tower... Their hours, they they get off at 6, and they go on at... Okay, so we're going to adjust this just a little bit here. Uh, move it up an hour. So there's that overlap. Well, not overlap, but it's like the other person gets off right here, and this one's going to start. So that's good. And then we are going to have them work an extra hour right there. There we go. And they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of sleep. Perfect. So we're going to do, we'll call this, um, seven a.m. to seven p.m. That won't be confusing. Save. Perfect. Apply. Close. Now we have round the clock tower people in this tower. Before, I don't think I was I was able to assign someone to that tower um, because there was somebody assigned to it, even though they were on a different hour thing. Okay, let's go find a smoker so I can take their horns. Now I know where a smoker is at, and it's going to be. And the, um, over here by the caves. There might be some before that. Oh. Might be some before that. But we'll find the one. Well, I know they're at the caves. So I'm going to go this way first. And see if I can't find that horn. And a little hungry too. We start looking around for something to eat while we're running. What is that? Oh yeah, let's check out the map because I also did something else. Sorry, it's squirrel moment. I went and looked around quite a bit and I found another cave. So, and here is this torch icon, but it's not there. Like, there's nothing there. It's just open, open ground. And oh yeah. And I found uh, an arena, a Uten arena, which is kind of strange. We can go take a look at it, too, if we have time. But let's go to this cave here. Make our way there. There's a deer or something. Whatever they're, they're called in this game. Am I heading for the right cave, or am I heading for the wrong cave here? I'm heading for the wrong cave. I want to go to this cave. <laughs> Oops. This cave. There's a smoker. Okay, so we want one with horns. Uh, that's got horns. 
nerds. We're going to cr crouch down here. They'll get curious. Hopefully, come back. Spring. Oops. Stay crouched. Oh, I remember why I stopped collecting people is because I was actually having a hard time feeding everyone. Uh, I need to build more farmland. Okay, come on. Come to me. Here we go. Do you have horns? You do not have horns. I need one with horns. Call your friends over here. Ah! <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm running over in this region. Okay, let's go to the cave, because I kind of want to check out that um, torch-making ability as well. No horns. Gatherers are doing a really good job. I've been kind of looking for food as well. There's that herd that always comes into the cave. Ooh. No horns. Could just kill you, though. All right. Smoker. Looking for one with horns. This might be a while. Okay, here that here comes something. No horns. Where's your friend? With the horns. I see another one up there on the hillside. And that one's got horns. Perfect. Come here. There we go. Harvest them up. Right. Might as well take the meat. And the uh, leather crafting scraps. And the horn. Perfect. Okay, let's go check out this cave. Get a. What is that? Oh, shoot. Oh. Wow. Eighth pillar. Place... Place a torch to banish the darkness. Okay, so we have to make a make a torch first. All right, let's do that really quick. There is something else down there that I do not really want to contend with. Uh, torch. Where's torches? Come on now. Why is this suddenly becoming a challenge? There we go. Simple torch. I need sticks, rope, and resin. Okay. Well, let's find something to chop down. Chop down this tree. 
I'll give us sticks and resin. Do. B. This one? Yeah, there we go. Craft. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, there's this flashing deal is not okay. It's kind of giving me a there we go. Kind of in between the things there, I guess. Okay, so there's something nasty down there. I'm gonna have to try and kill, I'm guessing. So might as well just oh, I'm getting hungry too. Or is it? It's not red. Okay, where's my torch? Which one was that? Shoot. Torch. Whoa. Is it breathing? <laughs> I do not like it. Uh, let's see. Can I place the torch on the wall? There was that uh, pillar. Cave pillar. Here we go. R. Deposit that. Yes. Perfect. Okay, now that is awesome. Now I can actually see inside the cave. Okay, I'm gonna whack it. Okay, whack it again. Bring it. Okay. Build another torch. I think we have enough stuff for it. Did I not build it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I just couldn't see it in my hand. Perfect. Let's go down here. There's another th one of those things down here. And more bad guys. Okay, well, it's relatively light in here, so with my vision, I can see. I think there's like their egg sacks or something. I don't know. Whoa! Power strike. Ah, done. One hit. There's another one. Like it. One hitter quitters. Get rid of these stinking things. I don't know what they are. I don't like them. Wow. Uh oh. Ooh. Stamina back up. There we go. Attack. I think it's making something. It's probably not good. Oh no. Uh oh. Shoot. This is not what I wanted. Hello. He's after me. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, shoot! Oh, God! Ugh. Stamina's gone. Come on, hit, keep hitting him. Oh, good, I hit, I got him. 
Wow, I am not very good at combat here. We're gonna carve up this thing. Oh, I don't like this. I'm not a big fan of big monsters and stuff. They kind of gross me out, freak me out. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Okay. Just gives meat chunks, is that it? Bone fragments and meat hunks. Oh. Somebody give me something cool. It's probably the same thing for these things. Baby crawler. All right. I've had enough playing in here. Let's get out of here. Let's let this torch up here burn. Come on. Get over those rocks. We have to go at least heal now. We can go on. I just checked the clock. We've been going for 26 minutes. Ah, flashing is not good. We have to build that horn too. So let's head back to camp. Yeah, so <laughs> here's my wall. Uh, we have to go find the end of it. Go around it. There we go right here. And as you can see, they've actually completed that little bit. So we're going to tell them to do it again. But let's go put this in there first. They're really good at building walls now. Got everybody working to get the materials. So it doesn't take much time. Why is everybody standing around? Oh, crap. Everybody comes to me all at once. And they all have issues. Are they, oh, they're all builders. Got it. Okay. Missing supplies. Didn't I pick up a uh, horn? Did I drop the horn? That's right here. Raw smoker horn. And this needs... Okay, so maybe I have to harvest it? <laughs> I'll just kind of following me waving hi yes okay let, let me drop it and see if I have to harvest it oh it's not telling me to okay uh, let's see what I can do with it in one of the workshops perhaps Not in this one. Excuse me. Oh, right there. So... I have Odin tier one. Okay. Well, let's go the Eye of Odin. Apparently we need to upgrade it. I need some mutant blood. Villagers and allows you to assign villagers as village, village militia. Oh, gotcha. They're carryable or tower mounted. Okay. This is stronger than the regular Eye of Odin. Perfect. Well, let's build it. That means we gotta go get some mutant blood. And do I have a pickaxe? Yes, I do. It's almost worn out, but it'll it'll suffice. Let's get that taken care of. Go get some mutant blood. You got horns, don't you? Yes, you do.
I and want a bunch of these things. A bunch of these horns. I don't care about the meat at this point. I just want the horn. Where's the horn? Fragments. Okay, fine. I'll pick up the meat. Get it out of the way. Oh, the, maybe I already picked it up when I killed him. Let me check check on that. See one. Hmm. Did it not drop? Maybe it just simply didn't drop. Hi. Don't run up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. All right. I'll have to try it again. Let's find some mutant blood. I'm just running in a direction. I have no idea if there's mutant blood over here or not. Just kind of looking around for it. Walkers. Horns. Gonna chase him down. There's some mutant blood. Start hammering away at this. This is usually where I would cut it <laughs> in the editing software. So you don't have to watch me bang a pickaxe against a rock. That gave me two? Oh. I wonder right here. Uh oh, I'm really hungry. That's a problem. What do I have in my inventory I can eat? Nothing. Shoot. I got a lot of meat. Might have to run back to camp. Just get some food. Let's take a drink of water. Let me satisfy my thirst. Look around for some more Uten blood really quick. Because if it's close, I don't have to run back out here. But I'm getting really hungry. There's nothing on the ground to eat because my gatherers are really efficient. Of course, my cook cooks everything. What was that? Ah. My cook, I was saying, will cook everything. And it all gets consumed very quickly. Let's eat that really quick here. Perfect. That satisfied me for a little bit longer. Let's look for some more Uten blood before heading back. nest. We don't need any more feathers. We got feathers for days. Just a rock. Kind of heading, angling back towards camp. I want to stay away from camp at this point now. Unless we're going to go back and cook some food. Because I've gotten all the Uten blood near camp. Pretty much in every direction. So we're just kind of wandering aimlessly here. Horns? No horns? No horns? No horns? You have horns? Nope. No horns. To get really hungry again. Come on, you and blood. Where you at? Oh shoot, I was going to build some more walls too before leaving. That's alright. My builders just like got nothing to do right now. Let's remember that. That's what runs through my brain, I guess, while I'm sitting here just running through the through the forest. Let's clear this area really quick.
Oh, and I did discover, too, that these are actually oak trees. And they're not common, but... Oh, there we go. Uh, not common, but they're not really rare, either. Um, and I got a feeling now that my loggers will probably cut down the Tree of Life over by our camp. Uh, as soon as they get the the ability to do so, or the space to do so. so yeah, I could, I could actually take a whack at it and cut it down. So, alright, let's head back to camp. Got a long way to go. Hopefully it won't take too long to get there, because don't want this episode me, of me just running through the forest. Getting hungry. And I have to heal myself. Shoot. <laughs> like if there's a blood moon tonight or something, I might be in world of hurt. Oh no, really? Why, dude? Like water is the most prevalent thing on this map. How did you die of dehydration? Good grief. Like, there's there's so many wells, too. Like, I've built them up. There are so many wells. Go get a flippin' drink of water. There's water right there. I bet you this well right next to his hut has got water in it. And I, he's been fine as far as... Mm. Can't tell I'm a little frustrated at that. I have to get another hunter. Alright, we got the Eye of Odin. Let's get something to eat really quick here. Do I have anything over here? Yes. We'll eat it. Give me a little bit of health. Let's cook something up here for ourselves. Oh, there's something in there cooking, actually. Yeah, nothing in the veggie basket. Uh, might be something in there as far as seeds go. I'm actually going to deposit these seeds I have here. In here. Oops, I didn't want to take it. I wanted to drop them off. There go. Oh boy, all these people are a little angry with me, huh? That I just take all their food. Uh, let's see, I'll do that. Remember, I could click, but I also remember if I use the wrong click, I'll eat it, and that's not good. Okay, we'll do two. We'll cook that. I need a little bit more. A little bit more on the hunger here, and then everybody else can eat as well. Back there, and let me drop these off there. Oh, that's taking forever. All right, now I got to get more water in my pouch as well. Otherwise, I will die. Food helped healed me up a little bit. So I may not have to go down the healer's hut. Ugh. I don't want to leave it because as soon as it's done... She'll put it out on this table and everybody else will just hammer it. Dang it. I don't like losing people. You can't tell. <laughs> Dang.
Boom. There we go. And then I'll take the other one and I'll deposit it right there for somebody else to eat. Perfect. All right. Now let's go down here and build this horn. There we go. Craft it. Done. I'm going to need another horn for myself and for uh, other people, perhaps. I'd like to build one that's just on the on the ground. Car. Go. It's up there. We're not going to climb up there to look at it. So let's go take a look at this Eye of Odin now and see if we use that to... That's kind of cool. Use it to assign our people. Select who's part of the town militia. Well, that person is for sure. My builders are for sure. Um, builder, builder. Oh. Oh, really? I get two people. Okay. Well. Let's remove the builder, and we'll take somebody from the barracks. How about that? Yeah, there we go. What if I want, like, everybody in the town militia? Nah, it is what it is. Okay, so... Now we're looking on time. It's 40 minutes. Yeah, just a few more minutes here. Let's go up and build some walls. Have, so my builders have something to do, for one. And two, we continue to uh, improve our defensive um, our defensive area here. And I think, yeah, we're kind of going that way. Just for a little ways. We'll put a gate in, like I was saying, like right in this area. It's kind of the, the gate, and we'll make like a main road kind of right in this area. So, let's do it. Less talk, more do. Okay, we'll pull up our build menu. We'll come over here to the walls. I believe it was the plank wall. We'll build that. We'll rotate that around. We'll kind of look to see where we're heading with it here. Tie it in. Like so. Hit the L key, that's for last. Hopefully it's not going to be floating like that when it's actually built. That'll kind of annoy me. Okay, now we need to remove some stumps, it looks like. And let's put these nails in. You know what? That's going to be up in the air. I'm going to dismantle that one. Confirm. Which means I'm going to dismantle this one too. Confirm. Before they start wasting supplies on it. angle it in a little bit too. Well, it's not. There we go. That's weird. I like let go of it for a second or something. There we go. Okay, so now let's put our nails into it. I kind of am the one that holds on to the nails. Um, I would put them in there, and then my workers, if they didn't need them, they would just drop them. I'd put them in the storage. And they, I, would, I was finding nails all over the place, so... i just add the nails. They'll add everything else. So, and there they are. They're doing it right now. So let's see. Where for the gate... Thinking that we're actually going to bump the wall out, put a gate in. Yeah, that'll look cool. 
All right, so we're going to do like this. We're going to bump the wall out like this. It's making it longer, more materials, but I think it's going to be awesome. All right. I mean, get rid of these stumps here. Maybe we'll put in like guard towers right here on the corners or something. Protect our village. Let's see about a gate. Village gate. Confirm. Build. Which way is out? Does it matter? I think this way is can be like this. Do I want to do that right there? No, I don't. Let us do... Oh, nope. This is what I do, guys. This is... <laughs> just... I'm very... I don't want to say indecisive, but I, I when it comes to this kind of stuff, I'm very kind of picky about how things look. And then we'll put the gate in. I'll go... This key, this key, the gate, build... Like so, I think. That's right. <laughs> I don't want to pick that up. I want to drop things. Come on. There you go. Then we will do plank wall again, build. Like that, and then we'll curve it back in. I'll continue going this way. Like so. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Push the wrong button. Alright. So now we'll supply all these with nails. If I have them. I, apparently I do not have them anymore. I've ran out. Which is fine. Um, they will definitely make more. So... Yeah. I think this is going to be good. We've got our gate. We can control who comes and goes. Maybe build a guard tower like right here in this corner. Kind of what maybe what I was thinking. Um, or maybe, you know, like right here. Or something. I don't know. Maybe up here. <laughs> but... Having a little bump out like that, uh, I think, is awesome. It just adds a little bit of aesthetics to it. This will kind of be our main path. Kind of come in this way. Just like so. Cool. I'm excited. Alright. What to do? Well, actually, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Just looking at the clock, we're about 50 minutes into it now. So, um... Once again, I do apologize if the audio is crap. Um, just looking at my levels, and the game audio is about half my voice. So if, the, if that bothers you, please let me know in the comments below. In the next one, I'll try to try to fix something. Um, I'm a little nervous about uploading this without editing it at all. and But we'll see how it goes. So 
With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly love playing this game, and I'm glad these updates have finally dropped. I want to get a bunch of horns. I was really hoping to have much more, much more people in the militia, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.